Hello, YouTube. It is I, Banded Wendy. How are you? It's still Tuesday, the 24th of February, 2015. And I am here to talk about maintenance. Maintenance moves me, right? I think maintenance also motivates me. Um, yesterday, Monday, marked exactly five years and 11 months post-op for me. 309 weeks as a lap band patient, as a weight loss surgery patient, as a surgically altered freak, right? Can you guess what I'm drinking? Uh, and in that, I have been in my lifetime maintenance range, uh, for the most part, 241 weeks. That's 4.6 years. Right? And so I thought, maintenance Mondays. That's my new thing, maintenance Mondays. So any of you who are new uh, to the channel, welcome. Thanks for being here. So all my old friends, how are you? I miss you. I do not watch enough YouTube videos, that is for sure. Um, and I kind of slack in making them. Maybe that's a part of maintenance. I was so on forever. But uh, my highest weight, 269 pounds uh, back in 2005. In 2007, 2008, I got down to 205 through diet and exercise. And in 2009, I had regained up to 244.6 pounds, right? So I decided to have weight loss surgery. So March 23rd, 2009, I got my lap band. And I set out with the goal to lose 99 pounds, to wear a size 10. Stretch goal I have written down was an eight. And see what happened. <laughs> uh, and so, I forget the name of the show, but I know most of you my age remember Love and Marriage. I think that might be the name of the show. Um, Al Bundy, Peg Bundy, the whole crew. Uh, and I even think I touched on this moons ago in a video. But, you know, I think that phase of getting to the point where I had weight loss surgery and, you know, accepting that I was choosing, making a choice to have weight loss surgery, and then um, figuring it out. That was the love part. Like there was, there was a piece of me that had to love the idea of a future self that I could be better, right? And take the risk. Um, it was my last chance is how I looked at it too. Uh, to have weight loss surgery, that I could, that I could lose this weight again. Uh, and so that's the love part, right? The marriage part for me uh, is all the work, you know? All those old habits that I had, eating the entire pizza, drinking all the Pepsi, not diet, regular, um, lack of portion control, no consistent fitness life, uh, avoiding the scale, pretending to the outside world that my size didn't bother me, you know, um, always starting again, you know, kind of giving that all up and getting married to, you know, uh, my weight loss surgery and to myself and to the rules um, and figuring out how I was going to navigate the journey. And I, I'm, I still learn every day, you know, uh, but that's the marriage part. What am I going to do better or differently? Uh, and it's like, once I believed I could, I would, right? So, 68 weeks passes by, and I'm still trucking along. 
I remember first year post-op, I had lost 71 or 76 or 73 pounds, and I wasn't at my goal weight, but I was at my surgeon's goal for me, which was a normal BMI, but that wasn't what I set for myself, right? I wanted to be 145.6. And that's when I realized, you know, along that first year that I had learned to learn better and really live better in that 52 weeks. It was still shiny and new and I was really a work in progress. It was still so thrilling to get on here every week and be a part of this community, watch everybody's videos, Sky Moon 1982, Black Candy, um, Lauren Taylor 87, Miss BB 83, I mean, Amy SD Mom, uh, so many, right? I mean, those are just off the top of my head. Uh, proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, Gastric Rose, uh, you know, the list. I can't even get into them all, right? But it was this invigorating time of figuring it all out and, and being married to the community, being married to my journey, being married to the habits, being married to those rules that my surgeon gave me, being married to myself, right? Um, and that, you know, uh, Tony... 77, I think. Uh, never give up, never give in, right? So the process continues, and I meet my goal weight. And uh, then what? I can remember I thought things would change. I'd exercise less and I'd drink more wine. <laughs> How wrong was that, right? So here I am today, five years. 11 months and one day post-op. Four years, six months, and three days in my lifetime maintenance range. Below my surgeon's goal for five plus years. Um, and last week I saw 140.5. Um, my maintenance range is 138 to 148. And got me thinking about what is maintenance. And I, I'm looking for folks who are 4.6 years in maintenance. They're hard to find, at least in social media. Sorry. At least in social media. My husband's an example, right? He's not in social media. So we put that up on Facebook yesterday. My Facebook page, Wendy Lee Sims Campbell, is pretty much maxed out, uh, but I have a page, Banded Wendy & Co., so you can always find me there, and it doesn't max out, right? And I share everything there all the time, you know, because it's easy and it's more accessible and doesn't require a video. <laughs> um, looking for other people. Not people who are six years post-op, not people who are two years in maintenance, not people who are even four years in maintenance. 4.6 years or more. And it seems like most of those people are not around. I don't know where to find them, right? So, Maintenance Mondays <laughs> is created for me. Uh, and I do really want to try to document, you know, things that are going on with me and what the longevity of being a lap band patient at a minimum is. Um, so that's the after, you know, love and marriage. And then the, it's the after with the horse and carriage. Am I the horse or am I the carriage? I'm probably the horse. Yeah, I think so. And the carriage is everything I've learned. Everything that I choose to do. You know, the accountability. These videos were my accountability for 187 weeks, I think, in a row. Um, my pocket peeps are still my accountability. I still stand on that scale pretty much every Monday. Uh, take a picture, share it with my friends. I still document 
I've been, I've been, gone from the post-it note to a notepad uh, since working from home. Still document all my calories and my protein 95% of the time. Still take pictures of all my food, share it with my pocket peeps. Still plan fitness and make it work every time I need it to work. Don't skip out on it. Uh, and I'm always thinking about what's next, right? What's, what else is in that carriage? Where is the horse pulling the carriage? What else do I want to put into the carriage, right? So it's the food, it's the water, it's portion control, it's being mindful, it's taking ownership. It is operating at a uber high sensitivity level in awareness. Um, it's being motivated, it's seeking out and finding inspiration, uh, it's being involved in the community. Uh, because I started a bariatric business, I'm fortunate because I have immersed myself with patients, you know, with other post-ops. Uh, and so I see it every day. I see the the changes taking place and the learning happening and the growth being shared and I get to be a part of that. Um, so there's a community component with me every day. Uh, the fitness, goals on the scale, off the scale. Um, and then there's this balance issue, which I think I've always struggled with balance, but you know, there's the balance issue. So this video is kind of all over the place, but I think about way back in the day when we all showed up here, you know, and it was, we're weight loss surgery patients. Um, didn't really matter what weight loss surgery you had, um, how much you weighed, what color your skin was, where you lived, what job you had. Uh, it was, we were all weight loss surgery patients. Falling in love, getting married, right? And then things change. Uh, we're all still weight loss surgery patients, but we all find our own way. And that becomes your marriage, right? And, and that carriage that you become the horse pulling. And I think that's okay. You know, two, three years ago, um, I didn't really talk a lot about success and maintenance. I just talked about maintenance and keeping doing the same thing all the time. And, and then that's a big piece of it, it's consistency. <laughs> Um, but there's, you know, what is that thing that allows maintenance to be? What is maintenance? What's your maintenance? I mean, maintenance to me is living in my lifetime maintenance range. That's a weight. That's a goal. Uh, maintenance to me is showing up for myself every day. No excuses. Excuse proof your life, Wendy. That's what I do. Um, maintenance to me is my gold jeans, the video that I made July 15, 2010, in my gold jeans, I wore them yesterday. That matters to me. I don't care what size they are. I don't care how much I weigh. They fit. The shirt, right? The shirt, Hua, my running partner, only a running partner would get you this one, um, still fits. She gave me this as a gift back in 2011. I had to stretch it across, right? The perfectly perky breast enhancements, but it still fits. That matters to me. That's maintenance for me. I'm not a person who believes that a 20 pound rebound is maintenance. My doctor never told me that. I don't believe that. I'm not gonna live that, right? So, I think you have to figure that out for yourself and it's what are you willing to do, you know? If I do not do what I've set out to do and I'm not the horse pulling along that carriage, then to me, I become who I was pre-weight loss surgery and all this was just a diet. And you know how I feel about diets, right? So that's that. That's what I'm thinking about that. Some other thoughts. I am blessed that underneath my obesity, or personally, my fat suit, uh, I'm healthy. 
I'm as healthy physically, I'm healthy mentally, I'm not confined in any way not to do what I need to do on a regular basis. That's important. Um, the non-scale victories, they are still the glue that holds the journey together. I look for them every day. You gotta look for them, you gotta celebrate them. I don't care if they're the same thing over and over again, they matter. A lot of mine are fitness and fashion. Uh, I used to cry in the dressing room at Lane Bryant all the time because nothing fit. And then I put the glasses on in, because, to hide the tears as I paid for the bigger size. So when something from four years ago fits, I'm thrilled, you know? Um, they hold the journey together, even all these years later. Uh, you know, food, nutrition, portion control, I live it, I play it, I mix it up, I learn it, I'm always learning it. But I can honestly say that after, you know, 241 weeks in maintenance, 10% of my daily caloric intake, I won't even talk about protein, but if I eat 1,200 calories a day, I can eat 120 calories, maybe 20% of my day can be chocolate, a Hershey bar, um, or it can be cheddar popcorn. Uh, I'm okay with that, right? It's 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 my truth, uh, and whenever I am not where I want to be, it's usually because of sugar, because it is the devil. It is like heroin, crack, cocaine, the drug that keeps on giving that you want and you need and you crave. Uh, so it has to be managed, and I can't lit up on that gate. Got to control the fence. Got to know when is too much and when to stop. Um, that PMA, man, how long? 2009. That man taught me about PMA. You've heard me talk about it. Positive mental attitude. It makes everything different. It makes everything better. And I got to renew it every single day, you know? And uh, I look out you know, in the community and in my friends and my family to help me keep that mojo, right? Keep that PMA going. Uh, so where am I? What am I doing now? Uh, I am thinking about where I want to go, what I want to do, um, how I want to get there. Um, I'm happy with my weight for the most part. Uh, I am working on my body, right? So right now, my food is always gonna be pretty much the same, right? Uh, I plan it, I prepare it, I portion it out, I weigh it, I measure it. Um, I'm always trying to eat slower and chew better. Uh, and then water, I'm looking at 101.4 right now. I gotta work on it though. It does not happen unless I make it happen. Uh, my vitamins, I have them, I take them. Uh, I try to take them every day. I, I've been better about it um, lately than I was for a minute. Uh, fitness is evolving and changing. I uh, just wrapped up Body Beast. I did 12 weeks of Body Beast. Did not run, says the runner. <laughs> Did not run for 12 weeks. I ran two times in 12 weeks. Uh, dropped five pounds here, there, and everywhere. Kind of went up and down and around. Dropped two and a half percent body fat. That's the kind of stuff I look at now. Got stronger. Looked better in photos from before and after. Um, and so now I'm working on getting back my speed. I've never really got back to my post-op bariatric. I used to be obese speed, which the trolls on the internet don't like my speed comments, but I'm not fast, but fast for me, right? Uh, and I haven't really got back to that post-injury in 2013 and post-reconstructive surgery. So that's really where I'm at, is building my best body, uh, getting my speed together, 
um, going back to the couch to 5K, starting from the beginning. Uh, tomorrow will be day three, week one, and already my split times uh, are decreasing by as little as 15 seconds and as much as 45 seconds, so that's good. Um, there's a goal there to get my speed, and I always go back to couch to 5K. Uh, I'm using, I went back to P90X. I'm doing a hybrid between C to 5K and P90X. I tell you what, Tony Horton, man, oh man, woo! I like him, and uh, he likes to beat me up. And uh, so the combination of those two things and my fitness is where I'm focused on building the better body. Uh, body fat percentage, so speed, strength, and body fat percentage. That's what I'm working on. Trying to get back to 12%. I was there in 2013. Gonna get, not gonna give up trying, right? Uh, and what else? Uh, I recently was invited to go to a lap band summit. There were about 100 doctors from around the, the US uh, there, and I was able to present as a patient advocate. Uh, about the importance of this, what we do, and how we get through it. And it was a great honor. So I, I use my voice for all of us, you know. Uh, my dad just left today. My dad came here to visit. Uh, family matters so much. It's been a year since my mom passed away. I still cry. I still think about her. I still talk to her. The probably will never change, right? But it was really great to be here with my dad uh, in Washington, right? Uh, my husband... I love him. I need more of him. Uh, he's my rock. Uh, he makes. He still challenges me. He, he still woos me. And uh, we're off to New York City this week. Um, he has uh, gifted us a wonderful Valentine's Day present. And what better time of year to go to New York than in the winter, right? So I'm excited about that. I've been several times. Year, I can't even count the number of times I've been to the city. He's only been one time, and we've never been together. So some first there that I'm excited about. And uh, and uh, WSFA event. I uh, just made a video about it. I'm speaking there, and I'm going to exhibit there. And uh, I get to live my dream there. So all of that's about maintenance. Maintenance moving me. And uh, the scale will always matter to me. My BMI will always matter to me. My consistency with all the rules of my journey were matter to me. And maintenance matters, you know. Uh, define it for yourself and then live it. Be it. And uh, you know, I got a, a gal today. She said she watched 15 of my videos. She was feeling blue and a little bit down. And then she watched 15 Banded Wendy videos. And uh, she's back, you know. Never in my wildest dreams that I think I can make any type of impact on anybody for them to, to share that with me. So, you know, do that for somebody. I want someone to do that for me. You know, where are you? That's why I'm looking for someone who is 4.6 years or more in maintenance who can talk to me on my level about the journey. You know, I mean, I have, of course, I have great pocket peeps and I have a lot of friends who've lived at goal weight, um, but I don't think there's enough of us and I wanna to talk to more of us, you know? So anyway, longest video ever, maybe. Thanks for watching. I just need to talk it out for myself. Um, hopefully I'll come back to share more sooner rather than later. Uh, what do you want to know? You know, what have I not shared that you want to know about? Uh, let me know. All right. Take care, YouTube. Thanks, everybody.